Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Chad, and here's another After Effects tutorial. Um, I've got no time to waste. We've got a lot to cover and not very much time to do it in, so let's take a look at what we'll be creating today. As you can see, we got this 3D text layer spread out in 3D space. We've got this random camera movement going on. Uh, we've got this semi-transparent kind of gradiated text in the background. And overall, just a cool effect. So... Let's not waste any time. Let's go ahead and get started. We'll click on the Create New Composition button. We'll name this one Final Comp or something. This will be where everything goes. Uh, 10 seconds long. Click OK. And now we need to create our background. Go to Layer, New, Solid. And we'll make a black solid. And we'll create another new solid. And this one we'll make sort of a dark, dark blue like that. And with the blue layer selected, we'll double click our elliptical mask. And if we zoom out, we can see it. And what we want to do is with our mask selected, we'll hit MM. That brings up all our mask properties. And under mask feather, we'll feather it out a whole, whole bunch like that. Then we need to create another new solid layer. Uh, this one we'll name grid lines and make sure it's comp size, color doesn't matter, click OK. And with the grid lines layer selected, we'll go Effect, Generate, Grid. And that gives us this grid, but it's not really what we want. We kind of want to create these scan lines going across here. So to do that, first thing we need to do is go into our grid and go to our anchor point and put it off to the left, off the screen. So we want to get rid of all those vertical lines. Uh, we'll change size from corner point to width and height sliders. We'll make the width, if you use a slider, you can only go to about 200, that's as far as it'll let you go. But if you type in a number, say 1,000, it'll, it'll accept it, so there we go. Uh, the height, we need to bring it down to about 5, you know what, maybe 6. Uh, we'll change the border to 4. Uh, we'll change the color from white to black. And then we'll change the feather properties, width and height, to about 3 apiece. And that looks pretty good. Now we have this uh, scan line going on here, which looks good. So next thing we need to do is create that background text. To do that, we'll go ahead and create a new composition. We'll title it Text. 10 seconds long is fine. Click OK. And then, of course, we need to type in our text. So Fire Child. And we'll center it up. And then we can scale it. Not too much. And what you want to do is you want to get it to fill the frame left to right without going out of frame. Just a left corner to right corner. That's as close as you can get it. And, you know, that looks pretty good right there. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and change the color. And make it a little bit darker, you know, bluish gray. And what we need to do is we don't, we just want to use this color as sort of a highlight, kind of a specular highlight as if it were being a reflection off glass. So to do that, we'll take our pen tool and we'll just draw a mask through the center of our word like so and I made it a little bit bigger on the bottom than I did on the right than I did on the left which is fine uh, if we hit MM it'll bring up our mask properties we'll change our mask from add to subtract uh, we'll feather it out and then we'll expand the mask as we just just want those highlights. Maybe expand it a little bit more. Feather it some. Just want those highlights. Now, if we toggle our transparency, you can see we've got a gradiated transparency going on, which is really cool. Um, but you can't really make out the word anymore. So to fix that, what we'll do is we'll duplicate this layer by hitting Control D. And on the duplicate, we'll hit M and delete the mask for the duplicate. So now we only have a mask for our first layer. On the duplicate layer, we'll just swap the fill and stroke, like so. And now we've got this gradiated transparency look. And still being able to preserve the outline of the word. Looking pretty cool. Uh, what I'm going to do is change this stroke and bring it to the bottom. And I'm going to add a new adjustment layer. And I'm going to put it in between the fill 
and the stroke and I'm going to apply an effect to that. I'm going to go effect stylize glow and that just to bring out the edges a little bit more I'm actually going to decrease uh, actually increase the radius and probably increase the threshold a little bit I just want just a mild mild glow on it and that looks pretty good like that you can mess around with these settings to get the glow however you want it okay back into our final comp we need to take our text and bring it in just to the top and we'll make it if you hit F4 you can bring up these tools we'll make it a 3D layer we will let's go to our top view zoom out now a little bit more and we'll push it back in Z space and if we hit S on the keyboard we can scale it up about like that and then we'll duplicate it and we'll take the duplicate and we'll move it a little bit closer about here we we'll actually move this one just a little bit closer too about like that if we go back to our active camera you see now we got two very large copies in 3D space just make them a little bit bigger 263 like that uh, we'll take our duplicate and we'll drop it down and maybe move it over some just to offset them from each other that looks pretty good uh, what we need to do now is take these two duplicate them uh, we'll move them actually we'll move them to the top and if we go back to our top camera view zoom out you can see we need to move these in front about right there we go back to our active camera you see we've got a whole lot of word on the screen I should bring these forward a little bit more about there okay what we need to do now is we need to create that text that's in the middle this text right here so to do that just take your text tool type out and type your word uh, it's hard to see right now. Just swap my fill and stroke. Uh, and I'm going to make this one almost white, like that. And shrink it down. Not like that. Uh, go back to my top view. If I make this one 3D, now it's in 3D space. And I can drop it back just in front of these two uh, large text layers. Center it up. Back to active camera. Zoom in. Speaking of camera, the next thing we can do is add a new camera, like so. 35 millimeters, fine. And if we twirl down the camera settings, camera options, we can turn depth of field on. And if we bring up the aperture and the blur level, a whole bunch, we can blur out this foreground to where it's just sort of adding sort of a texture to it. And if we change the focal distance, we can bring our word here back into focus about like that should be pretty good <laughs> cool now the next thing we need to do is we need to animate so we we'll take our camera we'll hit P hold down shift hit A and hit R and at the first frame we'll set our stopwatch for point of interest position and orientation and using the camera tool we can set the camera where we want it for that first one about right there. Pull it back a little bit. About like that. Move forward to about two seconds and then move your camera where you want it. Maybe I'll turn the side. Center it up. Like that. And if we hit F9, it'll make these two easy ease keyframes, which will ease them into it. And one other thing we need to do is alt click on the position for your camera to add an expression. We'll add wiggle, open parentheses, 0.5, comma, 40, close parentheses. And that just adds that uh, random movement that you saw in this example. So you see here at the end, you've got this sort of random movement. And to create the, the word change, all I did was like keyframed out the animation where the camera comes across and then it flies back across and right as it flies back across that keyframe I dropped uh, the scale of the fire child word to zero and then I brought in the entertainment word from zero to 100% to where they just swap like that and I'm almost out of time or I would show you how I did that but um, you know for the tutorial anyway this is Chad I hope you enjoyed it and see us again soon and see us again soon